September 5th, India versus Pakistan, high voltage match. And as even as the match started playing out, there was a disinformation campaign that was being hatched and plotted in Pakistan. And what we are going to try and show you is a correlation between how the narrative was always trying to somehow link something that is it is not. For example, the narrative was trying to spread disinformation and try to create some sort of a discord amongst the Indian team by trying to make it look as if one individual who happens to be a Sikh is uh, actually representing the interests of Khalistan. I mean, the way this has gone about, right from the time the game started, you started watching, uh, if you were also looking at Twitter, many of us do this. We have one eye on the game, another eye on uh, social media platform to try and follow what is going on. So how would you normally follow what is going on about a certain game? You kind of look at specific hashtags. Which hashtags would those be? End versus Park, Park versus in Asia Cup 2022. But very soon, you'll start seeing that there is a Khalistan hashtag also coming into this whole thing. And this started right at the beginning of the game. So I'm going to show you a series of tweets here where you can see a carefully constructed narrative to try and gaslight an issue that really wasn't an issue. Notice how there was a series of tweets put up where, you know, look at the time 11 or 6 p.m this is indian time so somewhere in the while india was finishing up and and suddenly there is you know a whole bunch of tweets saying khalistan for ashdeep ashdeep is my brother as if all the khalistanis are you know being proud of the fact that their brother is playing for the game nothing can be further from the truth this is the thing this is where they are trying to create a fake narrative and, and the fake narrative is to try and sow discord among people. And here is the better thing. You have to not look at the name anymore. Many times, if somebody is trying to make a narrative that is going to be uh, a particular religion, the opposite side will be made to look as if they are getting outraged. So don't look at the names anymore. Look at what is the origin of that particular tweet. And, and I think we have told you this about the Hindu phobia hangout also. You have to go and look at where the origin of the thing is, the tweet is to get an understanding of the Hindu sounding name could be very well coming from Pakistan or Iran or US, who knows? That's what we are going to show as this particular fake narrative played out. So back to the beginning. Suddenly what happens is at 11.28 PM, remember the Ashdeep is my Khalistani brother was at 11.06, 20 minutes later, you see this new narrative starting from Zaid Hamid, but it is dovetailing into that gaslighting. They want to try and create discord in the team India. That is the big purpose. All right. And, and in whichever way they want to, they're going to try that. Here he's saying that India will threaten to overwhelm Pakistan and Pakistan will fight like tigers to push them back. Then a Sikh will help. This is mischievous. And it's very unfortunate that Ashdeep had to drop that catch because then suddenly it gave them fodder and they said, oh, look at it. He is helping. He has actually dropped a catch. So as we see through these series of tweets, you will start seeing how the uh, gaslighting starts in Pakistan. And then you have India's Muhammad Zubair, Zu underscore B-E-A-R, who immediately picks it up and says, oh, you dropped a catch. So that was at 11.28. Now this is 12.05, 30 minutes later. Critical moment in the game, Ashdeep dropped Asif Ali. Although I doubted if they had caught it, it would have made much of a difference because the, the target was well within the reach of the Pakistani batsman and India didn't have an experienced bowling attack. Selection was wrong. That's a matter for a different day. We have to understand how this disinformation thing works. And, and you need to look at it using data. Don't look at it using how many Hindus retweeted it, how many Muslims responded, how many Sikhs responded, and so on and so forth. This is an objective analysis at what exactly happened. How many? So, so the OS Saint Handel has done some serious data digging to understand and analyze it. So here is what happened. 117,000 tweets were done on, remember I told you the hashtags, in versus Park, Park versus in Asia Cup, sometimes Asia Cup 2022. You can basically, they are looking at 
you know, what are all the words that were used to try and tie the context. The context is try to make it look like the Indian team has a player who is rooting for Khalistan. Poor Arshdeep, he's sucked into this. Okay, that's again separate. So what happens is the analysis shows out of 117,200 tweets, this is for the duration of the game, right? Only 35 were in the context of Khalistan. So somebody is deliberately trying to pull in this Khalistan name, right? And that is what, 0.06%. So how does suddenly that become a big deal? And I'll tell you how that becomes a big deal in just one moment. Now, if you look at tweets that included the name uh, or included the keywords Ashdeep and Khalistan, there were 75 tweets made from 74 handles. Of these, 37 were of Pakistani origin. See, these are they are they are just doing cook up. They are cooking up data. Lucky for these guys, Punjab is not flooded. Otherwise, even this attempt would have been failed. But anyway, so this is just cooked up data to try and sow seeds of discord. Now, how is it possible for these seventy four to uh, push the same agenda when everything was in fragments? Now, this again, the thing started at eleven o six. Zaid Hamid starts gaslighting it around 11.28. So the, the coincidence, if you ask me, was that last line, then a Sikh will help. Okay, so this is where the thing is too much of a coincidence. And, and suddenly you see that Zubair is lashed onto that 30 minutes later, one drop catch, and suddenly you see a whole bunch of tweets saying that, oh, here is here it is, here is a Sikh who's helping, right? This is not the first time it has happened. In, in the previous World Cup, Muhammad Chami was also abused on Instagram. And, and the, the sad part is many people without checking everything just jump in and start blaming one individual or the other. If India loses, India loses. It's just a game. Don't put too much emotion into a victory or a loss. I've been saying this for a long time. It's just a game. Let's take a look at the next one. So just to make it convincing that, uh, you know, Arshdeep is indeed a Khalistani, you know what they resorted to? They go and change the Wikipedia page about Arshdeep and make it look like he was part of a Khalistani squad. Since when did Khalistan have a cricket team? 2019, 2022? It, it is just all bunch of a crap and, and you can see the edited portion everywhere there is India somebody has gone and replaced India with Khalistan Punjab or Khalistan in some places so you can see they're crossed out and the name change this is the kind of stuff that comes out and where does this 39.41.171.125 come from there you go it is coming from Punjab Pakistan in a city called Murray and it, it, they're not even trying to cover their traces because nobody is going to take the amount, the, the, the diligence that it required to try and show somebody is lying. Now you have proof. This whole thing, this Wikipedia reconstruction of uh, Arshdeep's page was done from this website. Incredible. I mean, liars, outright liars. These people are outright rascals. Again, so what is an Indian viewer to do? Whether you are in India or USA or anywhere, it is just a game, guys. Games will be lost. Games will be won. Don't put too much emotion into it. Just because India wins a game doesn't make you feel you are the you know you are at the Everest or something like that. There is nothing. It's just a game. Next day, somebody else will be playing somebody else. Somebody else will be losing something. Now, this interesting stuff doesn't stop there. After the match is over, there is a whole bunch of noise being created by Pakistani accounts. And another tweeter, Sai Kiran Kannan, has analyzed this part. So you can see that this is well planned. So that begs the question, did the Pakistani government know that India was going to lose this match? Because how did it start right at the beginning? How did it know that a Sikh will help? Okay, so you are all saying now that I am a conspiracy theorist. I'm showing you the data. You tell me why by, by, by way of comments. 
Okay, there are some handles from India which are also help fueling this. And some of those things are mentioned here. Sanket, Chitnis Purva, Lambalka and so on and so forth. And they are not fact checking anything. You can see that this whole thing has been taken to a new high. And again, what is Pakistan trying to achieve? It doesn't change the situation on the ground. They are still poor. They don't have any industry. Their economy is going, going, gone. They are probably going to be broken up into four or five parts. India will be playing Sin. India will be playing Balochistan. India will be playing POK. Who knows? So all this stuff, we have to understand that this whole big tamasha that has happened is to try and push one narrative. And that is to sow discord amongst the Indian cricket team and also among Hindus who are passionate about the game. To try and say, oh, look, you guys have a Sikh player and this Sikh player is actually playing for the other side. This is all it is. If only, you know, Pakistan starts playing some Hindu players, we can start using the same thing. But then India will never stoop to that level. But it is important to understand that you know, just because somebody put something in a tweet doesn't automatically make it true. The fact checking is there for that purpose. And, and I hope you understand that that's what we have tried to do here. We have looked at the data from OSN. We've also tried to gather it from some other people and we have shown it to you without uh, any doubt that this whole thing was engineered from Pakistan. But I can still not answer one question. How did they know? that Ashdeep was going to be such a critical cog in this game. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.